I'm here with Dr. Stephen Lewis, who is an orthopedic surgeon at Hinsdale Orthopedics, specializing in interior hip surgery. Dr. Lewis, there's a lot of talk out there right now about implants, hip implants particularly. Not only the type that's being used, but also how durable they are. How long do hip implants typically last? Typically, uh, a hip implant should last 15 to 20 years. Kind of depends also on your activity level uh, or what you're putting, the demands you're putting on it. What types of activity levels should you do after you've had something like this? A hip replacement is really to restore function and to relieve pain so that you can get back to the activities that you like to do. They're also a mechanical device, so you don't want to punish them too much. They will wear out. They do not regenerate. So the idea of swimming, biking, hiking, climbing, full activities of daily living are all within the normal parameters. The extremes of marathon running or any real running for exercise or sports is really not a good idea. It wears it faster, so it may not last as long. Besides tailoring your activity, are there any other secrets or tips you can give for making sure that implant plant lasts a long time? Probably weight management is the key to making it last as long. If you are overweight, what's nice about a hip replacement is it should provide more pain-free exercise uh, so that weight loss is a program of making it last longer, staying in shape, but again, not abusing your hip is really the key. How much of a role does a surgeon play in the amount of time a hip lasts? Again, it's a mechanical device. The better the, it's put in, the more proper the angles uh, and the relationship to the ball of the cup, the cup to the pelvis. All those will help m decrease the, the pressure per unit area on the plastic or even the metal on metal therefore decrease its wear and make it last longer. So really the surgeon's technique in putting it in properly does make a difference. And what do you do that other surgeons don't do when it comes to, I know you specialize in anterior hip surgery, which is a more, which is a less invasive approach to hip replacement and involves quicker recuperation and ultimately better results for patients. What do you do when you're doing surgery that other surgeons might not be as careful about or do? The direct anterior approach allows me to do the hip under x-ray guidance. Uh, the table uh, is designed to do that, that special table, so that intra-op I'm trying to balance the actual anatomy. So I'm restoring the person's normal leg length, their hip width, and that will at least, I think, uh, restore the normal mechanics to the hip joint and hopefully make it last longer and perform better. And again, I understand that you have done over 220 of these new procedures. You can find out more about the anterior hip approach on his website, hipandtrauma.com, and you can make an appointment with Dr. Lewis by calling Sabina at 630-323-6116 and asking for Sabina. Thanks again, Dr. Lewis. Thank you.